Sometimes it is necessary to gather a raw data dump from an event source in order to troubleshoot parsing issues. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to go about gathering a raw data dump. Technical support uses the raw data to recreate customer parsing issues. In turn, development uses the raw data to fix the collector to properly parse the data. If you find an issue with the way your data is being displayed or you're actually seeing parsing errors, the first thing to determine is which event source are those parsing areas coming from, and then gather a connector dump from that event source. The first thing we want to do is go to the Control Center Event Source Management Console where the event sources are located. Once the control center opens, the next step is to open Event Source Management Live View. The Live View is a graphical presentation of all your collectors, connectors, and event sources. Today we're going to collect a connector dump from a SUSE Enterprise Server event source. The first thing you want to do is locate the SUSE collector. The graphic with the nine tiny squares is the collector, which is also the device that parses the data. The connector is the plug looking icon. In this case it's a syslog connector. And then your event source is the actual outlet looking icon. To gather the raw data connector dump, you right click the connector, go to edit, then choose the square Copy raw data to file. Then browse to the area of your Sentinel box where you want to store the raw data file. I typically use Home Novell because that's the default location. Give your raw data file a name. You can simply make it a text file, then click Open. As you can see, the location and the name of the file shows up in the next window. At this point, click OK. Now, currently, we're not sending data to the raw file. We have to restart the collector, connector, and event source before that happens. To do that, right click the collector, click restart. You'll notice that everything goes red under the collector, and then back to green. That means that the collector restarted, along with the syslog connector and the event source. The next step is to open a PuTTY session. Then navigate to the directory where your raw data file is being stored. Do a list so you can see all of your files. You'll notice that we have a SUSE raw data file dot text and it has some data in it as you can see the 3741 amount. 
Just to confirm, do a less to view the contents of the file. What you're seeing now is the actual raw data just before it goes into Sentinel to be parsed by the collector. So we know at this point we are collecting raw data into a file. Go ahead and close the file. The next step is to go back into a syslog connector, edit it, and uncheck the box that copies raw data to the file. We, at this point we want the data to continue to flow through Sentinel as normal. Then restart so that the settings take effect. Okay, now we're back to our original settings. Now you know where your raw file is located. At this point you want to send that raw file to support with your event source version and the version of your collector. To get the version of the collector you can simply right click it, edit, configure collector, details. It's very important that we know the version of the collector and the version of the event source because certain collectors support certain versions of whatever event source you're passing through the collector. So we need definitely need both of these versions. And that is all I have for today. Thank you.